Okay, so here we've got some simple code where I make, I say A, let A be an icosahedron and let B be the dodecahedron that, that I made a little bit smaller to uh, so it would print without falling apart, but now I'll make them the same size. And now I'm just going to look at the difference. Oops. Now I'm just going to look at the difference. So yeah. That's what it actually would look like. Yeah, so you see why I thickened it up a little bit? Yeah. Because I just printed it where they meet at a point like that. And it um, would just fall apart. Yeah, it would just break. So this is, is this the one you thought was the um, icosahedron minus the dodecahedron? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, show that one up. Put it up, put it up the printed one of that up on the screen. Did you bring it up? Uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. So, it's like this one here. A little higher. There it is. Oh, yeah, it doesn't show up too well. That's all right. And then, how would I make the dodecahedron minus the icosahedron? Can you can um, you see what I would do? You would difference um, B A. Difference B A. And then. And then again, you can see why I thickened it up a little bit because if they just met at a single point, I would just have lots of pyramids. So, what do you think the trick is to make the icosido decahedron? Well, we need to get the space inside of the. We need to get everything. We need to get the dodecahedron, and we need to get everything but the pyramids that we have now. Yeah. Well, I think I return <coughs> negative c. Okay. Return minus c. Uh -oh. uh, that did that give us like everything filled in except for those little pyramids? Yeah, and when you when you have the slicer, you can see. You can see. I think it actually has it inside, but yeah. Well, I think for the we did for the cube octahedron, I think we did B um, negative there. Yeah, good, good memory. That was an interesting idea back then. The difference between B and minus A. Let's and see what that, that does. Actually works. That gives us the cubic that doesn't show up so well. Okay. Now, but when we were looking at the shapes, you suggested there might be a different way to make it. You could do... Well, maybe minus A, or yeah. minus B and A. Mm, well, yeah, A, or A minus B. A, difference between A and minus B might be the trick. Is this going to be the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. So, Look at that. So we cool. discovered two ways to make it. So we learned something. Two different ways to make the cube octahedron. I wonder if that... Oh, sorry, right. Not the cube octahedron. Icosidodecahedron. That's pretty cool. And then um, you were able to play with it by holding it in your hand. Yeah. That's, That's really neat. cool. Alright, good job, guys.